salvation fine I am trusting Lord in Thee Blessed Lamb of Calvary On the air that cross I bow Save me Jesus, save me now Long my heart has sighed for Thee Long as He My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today we shall pray for people who cannot obey God's will, who always have hurdles on their way, who cannot fulfill few things which are necessary to enter into God's kingdom. Let us pray for all our intentions both personal and community. Praying for Russia and Ukraine, praying for peace in the world, and praying for those who are suffering due to various illnesses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us call to mind all our sins and our failures especially those times that we have failed to obey god's commands obey god's will and have done many a times things that pleases ourselves with a contrite heart let us confess for all our sins together I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verses 1, 5 to 9. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe them that you may have life, and may enter and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. See, as the Lord my God has commanded me, I teach you the laws and customs that you are to observe in the land you are to enter and make your own. Keep them, observe them, and they will demonstrate to the peoples your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, No other people is wise and prudent as this great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its gods so near as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call to him? 
And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today? But take care what you do and be on your guard. Do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell them to your children and your children's children. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Your response. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. Your response. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. Your response. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Your response? O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Gospel Acclamation Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the Word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke, shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, after having read the Gospel, having read the Bible, many a times we may have the tendency to think which is the greatest of the commandment and what should one imagine which is the greatest of the commandment and so which is that the Lord holds primarily very important in human form, human race. Love one another. Do not kill, do not steal. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your might. Love the other as you would like others to love you. Treat others as you would want them to treat you. This is the greatest of the commandment. 
the commandment that Moses speaks about in the first reading in Deuteronomy, he reaffirms to people that they need to keep the commandments and statutes of God if they want to be favored people. And likewise, they must teach their own children these great commandments of love. And that will keep us in tune with God. That is very true. But if you look in the life of Jesus, many of these commandments it looked or statutes, it looked as if Jesus was breaking them. He was not following. A few of them very controversial. But Jesus was actually fulfilling the commandments in its real form. Sometimes we get mixed up with traditions and commandments. Our ancestors teach us some traditions. We keep on following them without any proper reason and knowledge. Sometimes they may be just the opposite of the commandments of God. So Jesus is trying to remove the traditional form of obeying God or the commandments. Those that are not to do anything with human life in relationship. Sometimes we may be thinking that we pray a lot, we do a lot of good things, but we fail to love our own brother, our own sister and our neighbor. There is no greater commandment than these or this that to love your own brother, your own sister, there is no other. My dear brothers and sisters, the greatest of the commandment that Jesus follows is the will of God dying on the cross, giving his own life for the sake of the humanity. That is the time, the commandment, the law is fulfilled and accomplished. When the Lord is dying on the cross, he says, it is finished, it is accomplished. Yes, my dear friends, the will of God is accomplished. It is that Jesus is trying to tell us all that is written in the scriptures, dot to dot, will be fulfilled. Nothing of that will be infringed. Therefore, he says, all those who infringe the commandment of God will be least in the kingdom of God. And even those who learn from them will be. We are to teach people right things, true things, real things, and the true commandment of God, and help them to grow, help them to build up their life on the commandments of God. And my dear friends, the season of Lent is inviting us to reaffirm our faith in Jesus Christ, our way of life, whether we follow in the proper steps of God, or we do what our ancestors were doing and it may not be the right thing or the correct thing. So let us ask the Lord's inspiration to come upon us that we may live the true commandment of God with one another in our day-to-day -day lives. Amen. To be your bread, now be your wine, now Lord, come and change us. To be a sign of your love, blessed and broken, poor and flowing, gift that you gave. To be your body once again We come to your table With our lives as they are Heal us, Lord, for we are broken May
Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear Mother for being with us, for helping our families to grow, for helping all those who needed her assistance, for bringing healing to those who are sick. Dear Mother, we ask you to intercede for all of us, praying for Russia and Ukraine, for unity and love for healing in their relationships, dialogue and affinity. Lord, we ask you to bless all of us, especially those who are preparing for the exams, those who are writing the exams, those who are preparing for interviews for their jobs. Bless all those who need your assistance at this time a miracle in life. Bless our families and communities with peace, joy, and serenity, we pray. Let us pray. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear friends, may you have a wonderful day. Thy heart is well my breaking, Thy Jesus does to see. Be right the wound that dying, in greatest I 
agony. Oh, Mary, sweetest mother, we love and pity thee. Oh, for the sake of Jesus, let us thy children be. Let us the children be.